post that is talking about Spokane style pizza. I know, pizza. but I'm going to find out. Yes. I guess. <laughs> oh, you're, I'm anxious to hear what you think. So apparently this guy says it's a thing. It's a TikTok that's already got thousands of views with very mixed reactions. So you're watching him put a whole bunch of stuff together onto a pizza. Strawberries. Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead first and listen to what he's putting on this pizza. Start off with a Pyrex because Spokane actually invented the casserole. Fry sauce, a local delicacy. Then you're gonna put some canned salmon on top of there along with bell pepper and onion. Then you top it with mozzarella cheese and some wild forward strawberries from the Spokane Coeur d'Alene region. That gets baked Detroit style with a crispy cheese crust and then you bring it out and top it with more fry sauce. What? <laughs> okay, apparently lots of fry sauce, no marinara, and st strawberries. Um, this is Josh Scherer. He's actually a chef who's often featured on Good Mythical Morning. He's also the host of a podcast called A Hot Dog is a Sandwich. As you can imagine, many people in the comment section are saying, this is the first time they've ever heard of this kind of Spokane pizza. Some people saying they would try it. I'm not convinced that I would try it. What are you thinking? I'll, I'll try anything once. Yeah, but okay. for me, the strawberries are kind of like it, the same people who like pineapple on their pizza. That's okay, me. so you might like strawberries, but with fry sauce and salmon. And salmon. <laughs> Canned salmon. Can't say, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I'll take a bite. I would, t I guess I would take a bite. I don't know what this guy, I don't think spoke, we didn't invent the casserole. I, not that I'm aware of anyway. I, I, I don't know where he's coming up with these things. <laughs> I guess I would try it, but I'm anxious to see what else comes of this and if anyone can get to the bottom of what this guy's really talking about. Yeah, and I guess if you guys have tried uh, similar pizzas around town, you know, Well, there's know. a good question. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you decide to make this and follow this guy's instructions, <laughs> hey, let us know how it goes. Also, one of our former Creme reporters, you may remember Casey Decker, he tweeted out an actual Inland Northwest pizza idea. He kept the fry sauce base, elk pepperoni, he said, cheese blend with cougar gold, obviously, sliced cosmic crisp apples, and huckleberry balsamic drizzle. I think I could get more on board with that one than I could with I feel this like one. the fruit on the pizza. You're just not getting on board. Yeah, that must be a Washington thing. Uh, I maybe. I'm, I'm <laughs> definitely into it. I like the idea. It's kind of that savory sweet. Yeah. All right. Well, let us know what you think. You can also text us to 509-448-2000. In the meantime, a historic artifact and a PT cruiser. How do those two things go together? We'll let you know. Plus, we've got a story about a curious calf who was caught on camera. Don't go anywhere. Anchor Picks are next. Want to drive? Really? Most of us agree our roads are safer when we put away our phones. But we still have some people to reach. So spread the message. And set the example because that's how we make the road a safer place for you and your loved ones. Together, we get there. For 50 years now, Great Floors has been serving the Northwest with quality flooring, and we're celebrating our anniversary with a whole house carpet installation for just $50. Choose any carpet from our best seller wall, plus save thousands on the latest styles of flooring, Top brands like Karistan, Shaw, Mannington, and many more. Top off these great deals with special 24-month financing. Shop Great Floors online or in-store. Imagine your home with Great Floors. Now's the time to get a great deal on number one selling Kubota compact tractors. Our reliable, versatile tractors offer an optional climate control cab and all the performance matched attachments you need to tackle any job all year round. Right now, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down and 0% APR for 84 months. Find a Kubota dealer near you at gokubota.com. Oh, allergy sufferers. Bedtime means it's time to take Zizol. Zizol relieves allergies while you sleep, so you wake refreshed. Plus, it works faster than Claritin, and on first dose, provides the same relief as Zyrtec in a pill nearly half the size. Be wise all. Take Zizol at night. Now is the time for a new bath from Bath Fitter. Every Bath Fitter bath is installed quickly, safely, and beautifully with a lifetime warranty. Go from old to new, from worn to wow. The beautiful bath you've always wanted, done right, installed by one expert technician, all in one day. We've been creating moments like these for 35 years, and we're here to help you get started. 
Book your free virtual or in-home design consultation today. Dear 2027, we look forward to seeing you. After our 160-point quality assurance inspections, we'll be Toyota certified used vehicles with seven-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranties. Not to honk our own horns, but the best new cars make the best used cars. Yours, Toyota. Get 2.99% APR for up to 60 months on many of your favorite Toyota certified used models. Find yours at toyotacertified.com. Toyota, let's go places. Orchard Crest Memory Care is a specially designed and secured community precisely for seniors with memory loss. It provides a peaceful, calming, and fulfilling environment. At Orchard Crest, our team members create meaningful relationships with those we serve. You will enjoy activities and programs that connect you with others. Our philosophy is always to put our residents first and enhance the quality of their lives. Building on the principle of, it's your life, it's your home. Well, time for our anchor picks, and this is the story that caught my eye. A $19,000 mammoth tusk was stolen from an art gallery in downtown Seattle. Look at the surveillance video. The man just kind of hanging out looking at the tusk seems to be very entranced with it, and suddenly he grabs it and ran right out an emergency exit. He got into a purple PT cruiser, but they think it was stolen. An employee did try to stop him with pepper spray. That person, though, ran toward the guy. She ended up spraying herself instead, but she did get some of the pepper spray inside the car. They again, they believe that tusk is about 12,000 years old and it's worth at least $20,000. Wow. Yeah. All right. My pick is about this curious moose calf oh caught on camera. The calf seemed to be looking for fresh, not frozen plants <laughs> and munched on their bushes there. Walked right into view of this ring camera. As you can see here, Jonathan owns the camera and the house attached. He said he's seen this moose in his neighborhood before, but never this close. He also noted that mama moose wasn't far away. Just can't see her in the video. That's when you realize how big even the babies really are because that's a big baby. It is a big baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We're back in just 90 seconds. We'll see you for Creme 2 News at 5. Thanks for watching Creme 2 News at 4, where there's more to every story. Arby's, two for six bucks every day. Arby's classic roast beef, adored by billions. Two of those things for just six bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. Why hide your skin if Dupixin has your moderate to severe eczema or atopic dermatitis under control? Hide my skin, not me. Because Dupixin targets a root cause of eczema, it helps heal your skin from within, keeping you one step ahead of it. Hide my skin, not me. And for kids ages six and up, that means clearer skin and noticeably less itch. With Dupixin, you can change how their skin looks and feels. And that's the kind of change you notice. Hide my skin, not me. Don't use if you're allergic to Dupixin. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. When you help heal your skin from within, you can show more with less eczema. Talk to your child's eczema specialist about Dupixin, a breakthrough eczema treatment. This is a filet yeah. fish sandwich. Thumbs up, Selena. I These are Arby's two for six crispy and spicy fish sandwiches. So, see you soon then. Arby's, we have the meat. Major League Baseball is back. Today, the Mariners played their first game of the 2022 season. Plus, the Spokane Indians are back in action tonight, too. We'll take you to Avista Stadium. There is a push to clear a large homeless camp near I-90 in Spokane, but they may not be going anywhere anytime soon. How tiny homes, though, could be part of the solution. Spring break is coming to an end, and unfortunately, so are the mild temperatures. Chilly weather in the forecast for this weekend, and it looks like the cold is sticking around into next week.
Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us here for Kremlin News First at five. I'm Whitney Ward. Well, it is an exciting night for Spokane baseball fans today. Opening day for the Spokane Indians, and it is also Krem Two night. So we brought the Krem Two news crew at five to Avista Stadium. Our Travis Green is live there ahead of first pitch. Before we head over to him, though, first we want to get directly to meteorologist Michelle Boss with a look at the game day forecast because Michelle, it's much chillier out than people might have expected as they're heading out to the game. Yeah, it, the temperature wise is not too bad, but we do have some pretty windy conditions out there. We've seen wind gusts uh, around 40 miles per hour and it's going to stay breezy throughout the night. So that's going to be what you're contending with. Uh, should be dry, but breezy out there for the game tonight. But if you're going to be doing any traveling over the weekend, last couple of days of spring break, boy, we have more wintry than spring weather across the northwest. In fact, we've got winter weather advisories for the higher elevations of the Cascades uh, that uh, goes into effect this evening and overnight heavy snow possible across snow me in Stevens Pass right now not seeing a whole lot of precipitation in the lower elevations. A few light showers have pushed in to North Idaho just east of Coeur d'Alene moving into the Silver Valley. Wind gusts though 44 miles per hour for a wind gust in the Spokane area and again it is going to be windy for the rest of the mm -hmm. evening. Temperatures are now in the 50s. The last warm day here as temperatures are going to be much colder than average for this upcoming week. Highs only in the 40s. Here's a look at your weekend forecast. Some isolated rain and snow showers but highs only in the 40s. All right, Michelle, thank you very much. Now let's get to Travis Green, who is live there at Avista Stadium for opening night of the Spokane Indians. Hi, Travis. Hey there, Whitney. I just heard Michelle talk about the wind. Uh, Mother Nature's playing a sick trick on us. Sun's coming in. Feels great, but very windy out here. But regardless, a very fun night for fans here. Opening night for the Spokane Indians. Of course, the Mariners playing today as well. But a lot of fun, obviously. This is a big day across the country and even for the players. And, you know, one of the beauties of minor league baseball is fans get to come and see these guys before their household names. And two guys are right here in Spokane. Zach Veen, the number one prospect in the Colorado Rockies organization, and the Rockies' number two prospect, Drew Romo, are both starting the season right here in Spokane. I asked Zach about what it's like to be playing on opening day. And Drew, well, he wants to win here. I think it uh, just reminds you how fun the game is and, you know, kind of makes you think back to when you were in the stands watching it. Um, so it's, uh, it's definitely cool to be on this side of the field and, uh, you know, it just lets you know opening day's here. Drew, obviously hyped up prospect, number two in Rockies farm system. Uh, what are you hoping to accomplish this season? Hopefully bring a championship to Spokane. Uh, they haven't won one in over 10 years, so hopefully we can, you know, get that done. And you, you got to like that as a Spokane fan, them trying to win for the team here. Uh, this is actually the first game played in April since 1982 for the Indians. That's because there used to be a short season ball team and now, of course, the Rockies high A team. So uh, a little bit of history here. First time since 82 and they're expecting 4,000 fans in attendance. Should be a fun night for sure. We'll have more in the 6 o'clock show, so stick around here with Krim. I'll send it back to you there in the studio there, Whitney. Bye. All right, Travis, thank you. And Seattle Mariners fans had to wait an extra day after opening day was postponed yesterday because of bad weather in Minneapolis, but the Mariners did start the regular season today. Our Andrew Quinn is joining us now with a quick recap of that game and some very happy fans for one Mariners player. Hi, Andrew. That's right, Whitney. Mariners began their season against the Minnesota Twins today, but prior to today's game, one of the longest tenured Mariners received some exciting news. This morning, General Manager Jerry Depoto announced shortstop J.P. Crawford has signed a five-year, $51 million contract extension with the team. Crawford hit 273 last season and was named a Gold Glove finalist for his outstanding defense up the middle. He won the Gold Glove for AL shortstops in 2020. Crawford has played the most innings of any American League shortstop since 2020. Now on to today's game, it was the Mariners' debut for 2021 Cy Young Award winner Robbie Ray. He received some offense early, courtesy of the Mariners' home run leader last season, Mitch Haniger. Haniger smokes this ball to deep left field, you can forget that. That's way out of here. Mariners take a 2-0 lead in the first inning, and that would be all Ray needed. He was simply brilliant today. He threw seven innings and gave up just three hits while striking out five. The only blemish on Ray's debut came on a solo home run by new twin Gio Urshela. With presumptive closer Ken Giles continuing to rehab from injury, 
Drew Steckenrider came on for the save in the ninth inning with two outs and a runner on. New twin Gary Sanchez hits this pitch high and deep to left. Hold your breath. But new Mariner Jesse Winker is there to make the catch right up against the wall and the Mariners hang on for the 2-1 victory. The Mariners are now 1-0 on the season. They will be back in action tomorrow against the Twins. The Mariners will send right-handed pitcher Logan Gilbert to the mound and the Twins will counter with newly acquired right-hander Sonny Gray. First pitch for tomorrow's game, it's an early one, scheduled for 11:10 a.m. Whitney. All right, Andrew, thank you very much. Well, here's a question. Could hundreds of tiny homes be the best option for homeless people in Spokane? The nonprofit Jules Helping Hands thinks yes. So now they're hoping city leaders will jump on board with the idea. Crime 2's Kylie, Kyle Simchuk is live at the homeless camp off of I-90 as he's continuing to look into this proposal for us. Kyle? Well, Whitney, Jules Helping Hands wants to replace all the tents you see behind me with 126 tiny homes. Those would sleep two people each. It would definitely be an investment for the city of Spokane. The city recently put out a call to nonprofits asking them to come up with plans to operate a new 32,000 square foot emergency shelter. The location is still up in the air, but Jewel says they don't need a building and that many homeless people don't want to be in a crowded shelter. They want their own space and a door. Jewel's tiny house plan would cost $11 million in the first year, $1 million for the pallet homes, and $10 million for wraparound services and shelter staffing. Now, Jewel sent that $11 million proposal to the city of Spokane, and we'll find out next week if they are selected to operate this out of the box shelter. Now, the camp is on Department of Transportation property, and uh, WashDOT has been clear they don't want the camp here. Jewel says they sent WashDOT an email with a proposal. WashDOT told us. They found out about all of this through media reports. Reporting live, Kyle Simchuk, Krem2 News. All right, Kyle, it'll be interesting to see what happens next. In the meantime, Idaho's Supreme Court has now temporarily blocked the state's abortion ban. Today, the court granted Planned Parenthood's motion for a review of the heartbeat abortion ban. The hold was put into the law to give lawyers for both sides, the state of Idaho and those challenging the law, time to prepare briefs for expected arguments. We'll continue to follow this story, but for the latest updates, remember, you can always go to krem.com. And now President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris hosted an event today to congratulate Ketanji Brown Jackson on her confirmation to the U.S. Supreme Court. During her nomination process, Jackson said she hoped her nomination would serve as an inspiration to other Americans. It was a point reiterated multiple times during today's ceremony as well. In my family, it took just one generation to go from segregation to the Supreme Court of the United States. And it is an honor, the honor of a lifetime, for me to have this chance to join the court, to promote the rule of law at the highest level, and to do my part to carry our shared project of democracy and equal justice under law forward into the future. Judge Jackson will officially become an associate justice of the Supreme Court this summer once Justice Breyer officially retires. Sacred Heart is joining a region-wide study to understand the effects of long COVID. The Institute for Systems Biology is now leading a multi-state project across the Pacific Northwest to better understand the lasting impacts of COVID-19. In addition to Sacred Heart, Swedish Medical Center in Seattle and the UW School of Medicine will recruit more than 900 patients throughout the Pacific Northwest for the next four years. During a virtual meeting today, the director of research said the study is already off to a great start. I'm optimistic that we will enroll very well. And I want to emphasize what I said before is that we welcome everybody, whether you're our patient or not, but we want to meet people where they are, ease their way, and most importantly, give them a chance to participate. So if you're interested in learning more or, or even in participating in this study, just text us the word study to 509-448-2000. We'll send that link right to your phone.
Well, here's something fun. John Fogarty and Hardy Har are joining Northern Quest's 11th annual Pepsi Outdoor Summer Concert lineup. The pair joining an all-star lineup, which will include Brad Paisley, Sam Hunt, and Flo Rida. The two set to take the stage on Friday. That's June 17th. Tickets will go on sale on next Friday, April 15th at 10 a.m. Just a reminder, those 16 and younger do have to be accompanied by an adult. You can purchase tickets, though, for the show and all of the other ones by visiting the Northern Quest website. All right, coming up after the break, Spokane Public Schools looking for input from you on how to improve their transportation system. We'll share what some parents have already said after the break. Hello, who's back there? Rising prices have hit us all pretty hard. Anyone? Especially utility. Who's that? Here's how USA Insulation can Selena, help. Selena, hi. Um, okay, can we get some more audio in the VOs? Like We've got, it's all quiet. So can we bump up, Doug, are you doing audio? Can we bump the audio up a little bit, please? Imagine. For like baseball highlights, for Andrew, everything was just smart loans, silent. Our low monthly payment plans that would be really great. Thank you. Out of your energy savings. So call today. USA Insulation. If you need a new mattress, what you don't know could end up costing you. Come to Twilight Bedding Mattress Factory and talk to the experts. Yes? We make your mattress right here in our factory, so we can tell you exactly what it's made of. Twilight Bedding is also the only place in the area Okay, where that's you fine. I understand that happens sometimes. Thank you. Visit our website to learn the top 10 questions to ask when buying a mattress. And then come see us. Sleep right by Twilight. Very like milkshake, but I haven't had a Huckleberry. RV Super Show is finally back. This yes. will be the largest RV sale to hit the North yes, in should. years. <laughs> and it's happening at the Post Falls Greyhound Event Center. All the top selling travel trailers, fifth wheels, I like all berries now that I think about it. Display at the Greyhound Event Center in Post Falls. Luxury motorhomes discounted up to $100,000. I like raspberries yes, a lot. Diesel Class C motorhomes starting at just $589. Yes, I can hear you. Hi. Trailers with slides starting at at just $169 a month and luxury yes. fifth wheel starting at just $289 a month. Thank you. Best time ever. Oh, number one selling brands in one location at the Post Falls Greyhound Event Center. Competing for your business. Hundreds of RVs on display with factory reps on site. Top dollar paid for trades and special lender financing with banks and credit unions fighting for your business. It's the Idaho RV Super Show going on now at the Greyhound Event Center in Post Falls Idaho. The Inland Northwest is a place where you have everything from lakes to mountains to flatlands, and that's really hard to forecast. But if I can take the time to break down each region, we can get you out the door, we can get you prepared for what's going on, we can tell you the top headlines, but then we can also dive deeper in. I would love for people to watch the show and think, here's what I can do with this information and have the best weather or the best elements for the activity that I choose to do today. With the weather, there is always more to every story. Spokane Public Schools is considering several new recommendations to overhaul its transportation system, and the district is asking students, parents, and staff to weigh in. Creme 2's Janelle Finch is joining us here in the newsroom tonight to share some of the comments SPS has already received. Janelle? Back at its March 23rd special board meeting, SPS introduced short and long-term changes to its transportation system. Some of those changes include increasing walk zone boundaries and reducing the number of neighborhood stops. Since sharing the thought exchange on social, me social media Wednesday, the survey has garnered over more than 250 comments. Let's talk more about what those commenters are sharing their thoughts on. There are five main short-term proposals for the district. The district is looking at centralized bus stops, having students arrive to school 10 to 20 minutes earlier depending on grade level, decreasing the number of bus riders by increasing the range of student walk zones, providing high school students with STA bus passes, and alternative options for early learning and choice programs. Some comments thank the district for considering new transportation options and say change is needed. Another comment says continual delays opens the conversation on equity issues. Some comments ask SPS to operate its own fleet of buses and to bring busing in-house. Other comments include several direct notes on Durham bus services. One saying in part, Durham needs to give more notice for late arrivals or no drivers. Another comment from a single mom says the bus service is hard to trust and notes her student has had to walk back home after his bus never showed. 
One of the board's long-term recommendations does include evaluating its contract with Durham Bus Services. That contract expires at the end of the 2022-2023 school year. Other recommendations explore a more in-depth partnership with STA and possibly moving transportation to partially or fully in-house with cooperation from other area districts. According to student enrollment, uh, student enrollment is over 29,000. An average of 35% of those students do ride the bus. The survey is still open and available on SPS's social medias. The board will meet for its next meeting Wednesday. In the newsroom, Janelle Finch, CREM2 News. It's windy out there, but mild for now. Big changes in our temperatures coming up for the weekend and next week. We'll have a look at your extended forecast. Up next. Our main business is furniture reupholstery. That's what we've done since 1959. Being able to really help people customize um, and, and really get what they want. I think that that's, that's the thing that really makes us different from everybody else. We have high end quality furniture that's gonna last for years, but we can make it yours simply by changing the color of the cushion. Jacob's Custom Living in the Spokane Valley. What makes Camus Rewards at Northern Quest the best? Easy. It's not just for gaming. Earn points everywhere, like Maslow's Steakhouse and Epic Sports. On this Friday night, or secret service. Redeem them everywhere for spa days at La Rive, shopping at Windfall, fuel at our Kalispell Chevrons, you name it. $1,022 in reward play instantly. Camus Rewards at Northern Quest. Yes, the best. On this Friday night. Motive protection, WeatherTech floor liners. With deep sculpted channels and laser measured for total protection in the front, back, and even up the sides. Dad, you're going viral. What? WeatherTech, WeatherTech me. So don't be shy, enjoy. WeatherTech. Order your premium American made products at WeatherTech.com. Wanna drive? Really? Most of us agree our roads are safer when we put away our phones. But we still have some people to reach. So spread the message. And set the example. Because that's how we make the road a safer place. For you and your loved ones. Together, we get there. You want to feel important. You want to be a part of something bigger something that matters and can help change things. You want to feel like you belong. We know. We felt that way too. And that's why we did something about it. We aren't just Army National Guard soldiers. We are normal people just like you. And together, we can make a difference. Take on your legacy. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. Founded on the creativity and innovation of a young artist, Miller Paint has been making quality paints locally since 1890. From our first handcrafted batches of paint through today, Miller Paints are uniquely formulated for the Pacific Northwest with colors that welcome us home. Miller Paints are made here for here. Visit MillerPaint.com or come into one of our neighborhood stores today. Welcome back. The Publishers Clearinghouse Sweepstakes is one of the nation's best known giveaways, but that also makes it a prime target for scammers and you too. So here's how to protect yourself. We've all dreamed about someone knocking on our door and handing us a giant check as advertised by the Publishers Clearinghouse Sweepstakes. Several Verify viewers reached out to us to share emails and texts they've received claiming they're the big winners. So let's verify. Does Publishers Clearinghouse ask winners for money to receive a prize? Our sources are Publishers Clearinghouse, the Federal Trade Commission, and the U.S. Postal Inspection Service. PCH says it gives away $13 million a year in various prizes, ranging from $1 Amazon gift cards to several thousand dollars a week for life. One text forwarded to us by Rose says she won more than $7 million and a new car. The text was supposedly sent by Dave Sayer, PCH's Director of Advertising, and wanted Rose to pay $400. PCH says this is a common scam tactic that uses the names of real employees 
in a criminal attempt to deceive you, and they never ask people for money. The company says its biggest winners are notified in person by their prize patrol. Other major prize or super prize winners are contacted by overnight mail and never by email or text. Although smaller winners, like the $1 Amazon gift card winners, may receive an email. Both the FTC and U.S. Postal Inspection Service say if anyone asks you to pay to get your prize, it's almost certainly a scam, and you should report it to them. So, no, Publishers Clearinghouse will never ask winners for money to receive a prize, and they only tell you you've won in person or by mail. In case you're wondering, PCH says the odds of winning its current grand prize are one in more than six billion. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis. Well, we haven't had any snow stick in Spokane since February 27th, and we can't seem to get the mild temperatures to stick either. We get one or two days of nice weather like yesterday, and it's still mild today. And then things seem to try to, I guess, regress back to winter. And that's what we're looking at for the forecast for this upcoming weekend and even into next week. Right now, though, still pretty mild. We're just under uh, 60 degrees, a little bit on the breezy side, and as you can see, kind of looking hazy along the horizon there. Uh, pretty dry conditions across central Washington, and with 40 mile per hour gusts, we are getting a little dust kicked up and blown into the region. But uh, we are starting to see some more wintry weather in the higher elevations, and unfortunately, some of that wintry weather might even make it down into the lower elevations here in eastern Washington. Stevens Pass not looking too bad right now, but we expect those roads to become snow overnight winter weather advisory will be in effect until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning for both Stevens Pass and Snoqualmie Pass as well. Snoqualmie has been reporting a mixture of snow and rain right now, but as those temperatures cool overnight, uh, those roads could certainly become slick. Here in Spokane, though, we did make it to 60 degrees today, our morning low 42, so above average temperatures. We're going to flip things around for the weekend and next week and see much colder weather. We did get a trace of precipitation today. That just means it was less than a hundredth of an inch. Right now, 56 degrees, partly cloudy skies, but still very windy winds out of the west southwest at 35 miles per hour gusting over 40 miles per hour and you can see our relative humidity only 20 percent so it is pretty dry out there it's going to be windy through the rest of the evening but we won't have to worry about dodging any rain showers if you're going to be out and about Temperatures falling into the 40s. Windy this evening and then much colder this weekend. A high of 60 today, about 15 degrees colder tomorrow, and then uh, similarly cold on Sunday with highs only in the 40s. Not terribly wet over the weekend, but we could see some light rain and snow showers, a little bit of snow mixed in, uh, not only this weekend, but into next week as well. So an upper level trough pushing through. That's bringing a cold front through along with it, which of course, much colder air behind it. Future Tracker is keeping it dry here in the lower elevations for this evening, but starting to see that snow uh, get going up and the higher elevations in the Cascades continued snowy through tomorrow morning. We'll see a little bit of sunshine tomorrow, but then clouds rolling in and then just some isolated rain and snow showers a little bit colder on Sunday means we could be tipping more towards the snow end of precipitation throughout the day on Sunday, but overall amounts are expected to be light. High temperatures tomorrow still in the 50s in OMAC and Moses Lake, but only in the 40s in Davenport and Deer Park. Overnight lows getting down to near freezing. It's going to be even colder than that next week. 47 in Spokane, 46 in Coeur d'Alene, 44 in Pullman and in the lower 50s in Colville. Here's a look at that extended forecast. Chilly weather tomorrow and then just cold all through next week. It's going to feel more like winter with high temperatures only in the mid 40s. On this Friday night, Secret Service scandal, the shocking new details about the two men who posed as fake federal agents. How close did they get to the president's protective detail? That's all tonight on the CBS Evening News. The Ugly Duck is a liquidator. We're being offered inventory at huge savings, which means big savings to you. Doors, windows, hardwood, flooring, molding, kitchen and bath cabinets, and granite. The Ugly Duck, 509-326-0199. Quack. No one, no one does truck month like Wendell, Ford, F-150, Super Duty, Ranger, Nissan, Frontier, Titan, new or used, many with a 14-day, 1,000-mile money-back guarantee, Ford, Nissan, and used. Because truck month at Wendell is where you find what you want. Hurry in because the best rigs go fast. Wendell at the Y, drive for generations. 
For most of the people that walk in our store, it's been an ongoing, non-stop issue, and they're finally walking into the Good Feet store. Okay, the, the guy that came into my store last year that has had plantar fasciitis for 30 years. I looked at him, I said, are you kidding me? I've been here for 14, where have you been? I helped relieve a problem that's plagued him for 30 years. I mean, how do you not go home and talk about that? See for yourself with a free personalized arc support fitting at the Good Feet store. Aleve X. Its revolutionary rollerball design delivers fast, powerful, long-lasting pain relief. Aleve it and see what's possible. You gorilla tape that? No. Why? <laughs> gorilla tape. Of course. Gorilla tape is three times stronger for a hold that lasts. For the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Whoa. These things to smell so good. Must be magic. Hefty Ultra Strong with Fabuloso Scent. Reynolds Rat makes this whole cooking and cleanup thing so easy. It speeds up this so I can get the film. Easy prep, cook, and clean with Reynolds Wrap. We may be biased, but we feel we have the best customers in the inland Northwest. And that's why we're having a customer appreciation event. And to show our appreciation for the last 40 plus years, we promise to continue to provide the following. Best quality living room, bedroom, and dining room furniture. A friendly, no pressure sales experience with our knowledgeable staff. And of course, we will guarantee the lowest Lazy Boy prices. Come let us say thanks during our customer appreciation event, happening now. The Ugly Duck is a liquidator and a direct distributor. That's why you buy for less. There's no upfront fees. You touch and you look at what you're buying. A full blow door shop for you. The Ugly Duck, 1727 West Sinto, Spokane. Quack. All right, this by far is the story that is trending today. The Motion Picture Academy has announced that Will Smith is now banned from attending the Oscars and all other Academy events for the next 10 years. This, of course, is in response to Smith slapping Chris Rock at this year's Oscars after the comedian made a joke about Smith's wife, Jada. The Academy called Smith's actions, quote, unacceptable and harmful. And then I think shortly after that came down, Will Smith himself did uh, issue some kind of statement on social media saying, that he accepts the Academy's uh, punishment and respects their decisions. Yeah, so. Hopefully that can kind of bring this whole yes. event to a close yes. and we can kind of move on after yes, that. Yes, absolutely. All right, let's talk about kind of the final forecast as we head into the weekend. Yeah, I wish I had better news. Hopefully you got out yesterday. Hopefully... Uh, you know, you enjoyed today because it's going to feel more like winter for the upcoming week. Highs in the 40s over the weekend, not terribly wet, a few rain and snow showers, but next week lows in the 20s, highs in the mid 40s, probably not going to be a whole lot of gardening going mm -hmm. on uh, this upcoming week. And maybe that's okay because you can see it's kind of windy out there still and that's going yeah. to continue through part of, at least part of the weekend yeah. too, right? Yes. All right. So hold on to your hats. <laughs> Everyone, thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here at six. Thanks for watching Crim 2 News at 5, where there's more to every story. My mom had a bath fitter and make me a new bath. My friend Jimmy said that when he got a new bath, it took forever. Jimmy didn't have to take a bath for a month. I didn't even get to miss one. Great work, Selena. Um, Hi. I need my help back, right? Yes, please. Mm hmm. Thank you. Yes, please. I don't know how to move it.
I was in the B block of the five today. Thank you. Okay. Otherwise, stand by. Okay, three, two. Back at its March 23rd special board meeting, SPS introduced short and long-term changes to its transportation system. Some of those changes include increasing walk zone boundaries and reducing the number of neighborhood stops. Since sharing the thought exchange on social media Wednesday, the survey has gained more than 250 comments.